you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. Will you believe it when I say I love you? Yes, I will. No, I don't think you will. Are you telling me this to make me sad? Not at all. I am just saying that my father's fetish lifestyle shouldn't prevent you from getting married to me. I am not just bothered about the ways of your father. I am equally worried about you. But I have told you. I will not follow in the footsteps of my father when I become king. Obim, I love you. And I love you too. <coughs> oh. Greetings, Ichi Ebunike. Greetings, my friends. Welcome, Father. Please, Your Majesty. Help me, my son here is dying. What is wrong with your son? He has been having this painful headache for the past five days. I have consulted all the medicine men in this kingdom and outside this kingdom. But the medicine they gave to me, none of them worked. I'm here, your majesty. Please help me and my son. He's my only child. I don't want uh, to lose him. Listen, you are not going to lose your son. Take him to Mbakago. Kneel in humility. Pray in faith. Ask them to heal your son. As long as you pray in faith, something will happen. Yes, Your Majesty, have faith. Go. Oh, th thank you, Your Majesty. Go, go. of our king. Please heal my son. I believe that I have faith that you can do this for me. Please, I beg you. Heal my son. Obina. Obina. Are you okay? Yes. You mean the headache is gone? Yes, <sighs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Abin, we need to go and see the king to thank him. Okay? Let's go. Hey, it's, it's, it's unfair, please. Um, my, my princess, you don't have to blame us. Yes, what we saw the other day was so terrible and scary. Oh, my sister is right. I know your father has all types of charms and all that. But a human head? No. I have never seen a thing like that before. It is so scary. What are you trying to say? That both of you want to start avoiding me because of my father? But you know you're the only friends that I have. We can visit. But for now, I am sorry my princess. We can't. Why? Because of what my father is doing? That's not fair. Chidalo, please help me talk to your sister. My princess, if you are telling me you are not scared yourself, then that is strange. Chidalo, now I'm beginning to see the reason Adana is rejecting the prince's proposal. Yes! The palace is a horrific place to stay. I don't even know how to wipe that impression off my thoughts. Ha! Ah. So terrible. <laughs> Listen, my prince. Mazi Ngele's son got healed just like that. Your father. Oh, <laughs> your father is such a great man. Ezegama Egadio. Thanks to his Mbakoagu that heals all sicknesses within the twinkle of an eye. Can't you see you are blessed, my prince? Don't you know your father has provided you with an altar that can give you enormous wealth? Onye Kwele, we'll just shut up. Change the topic, please. 
My prince, why should I change the, the, the topic? Oh, are you blind that you cannot see how great and powerful your father is? I will is? not accept you insult me. I won't. Ah, apologies, my prince. I, I didn't in, intend to insult you. But I want you to understand my point. There is nothing to understand here. You are the one who doesn't understand anything. Those powers are from Ekwe and Su. There is a way you talk sometimes that baffles me, my prince. And... Hey, please. Enough. Let this be the last time I will have you praise my father's charms before me. I do not find it entertaining. If you desire those charms so much, then approach my father. He would adopt you as his son on Ajane. I am certain he will do that. Is that supposed to be an insult, my prince? No. It is an advice to a fool who doesn't know where to stop. Denounce your family. Denounce your father since you, you crave for charms and powers. Meet my father. He would adopt you as his son on our journey. And I will cede those charms to you. You can inherit them if you desire. But until then, let this be the last time. I would warn you not to say praises about my father's charms. Have I made myself clear? It's your fault. I need gold, it's your fault. No, no, no. For how long will we watch as a gamma take all the gold of our nature? That man is so good. Your Majesty, I had the price to forget everything about the gold of our nature. As a gamma is now the gold. What are you saying to your father? That there's a gamma is now the owner of the gold of an orchard that belongs to the Chideke and his kingdom. How is that? Your Majesty, who the first know that Ezi Gamma usually sends his chief warrior to an orchard just to get the gold for him? I don't care. I'm not asking for all the gold. Just a little. Then, Your Majesty, how do you take the gold? Very simple. I'll send my chief guard to Anacha to me. I'm sure that Eze Chinaike will give him some gold for me. Besides, he fears me just as he fears Eze Gama. Your Majesty, are you sure that you are not making a wrong decision? I'm making a right decision. It's your form. Anungwa! Anungwa! Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Aha. Uh -huh. You will go to Anacha tomorrow morning. And tell their king, Eze Chineke, that I, Eze Chuku Dubem, ask him to give you some gold for me, for my private use. But your majesty, Eze Igama is not the owner of the gold. Will you shut up? Who asked you to talk? Sorry, your majesty. Go and prepare for your journey tomorrow. Yes, your majesty. Eze Igama, Eze Igama, Eze Igama, everywhere, Eze Igama. Ah. Is it not the same hair that I have that he also possesses? One head! Are you telling me as a gamma as a gamma? He was a he was a rig. He was a Why would you think he your father to be an evil man? Why? Because of the sacrifices I make? I am the one who makes the sacrifices. And it's for the purpose. I make those sacrifices simply to fortify their powers. It's for the good of the palace. I kill nobody for fun. But father, does it have to be this way? Why do you have to make human sacrifices to your deities? Is anyone after you? Tell us. Well, if anybody feels he or she can come after me, let them come. That should not be a problem. I, I, I shouldn't be discussing this with you, Negal, because you will never understand it. You are a woman. In fact, you are a child. She is not just a child. She knows exactly what she is saying. You are just a man with primitive love for the mundane. Now let me ask you, Father. What form do you derive in all of this? Nothing is done for fun. And let me be very specific, Uchidawada. In my world, fun is for good. Then stop the evil practices, Father. This palace has become a horrific place. Even my friends Chidalo and Kasubi have stopped visiting me 
in the palace just because they saw Ife Kumotalo the other day with a severe woman head. Father, it was so scary. And not only that, Father. Adane has refused to accept my marriage proposal because she feels I will inherit your powers and charms when you are no more. Father, please, please, stop this evil practice of yours. I do not want to lose the love of my life because of it. Please. And you are my son. Why do you allow useless things to disturb you? Why? You call my relationship, my love useless? Father, I love her. I love Adane. For your lover, forget about her. She is going to marry you if she truly loves you, irrespective of her perception. Absolutely, as a Chineke. He sent me to get the gold, for he needs it for something private. We all know that Ezekama is the owner of the gold mine now. This has been the case since he became more powerful. My king, Eze Chukudibem, do not care about that. I am here for some gold. But as a gamma will deal with me if I release any gold to you. He will always know if I temper with the gold. It is that powerful. I know it. You know what my king is capable of doing. Is a chineke. Please don't keep me waiting. Okay then. I will give him. We have to come back tomorrow. I shall take my leave. Do not disappoint in the Chukudibem of Umudala Kingdom. I have asked questions. His name is Ekusiko. And he has been coming here to see you. I don't know why you're making a case out of this. Yes, Ekusigo comes here to see me. And you have been welcoming him. You've been accepting him. Why can't you just ask him to stop? How many of them am I going to resist? Ekusigo is not the only one that comes here. There are many others. And you have been urging them on? You have been welcoming them? Encouraging them? What is wrong with you? We are soon going to be married. That is exactly what you should tell them. Soon going to be married? How am I? Sh I mean, am I sure we're getting married? I if we are. Or aren't we? Is it come on? Why are you gambling with your life? You want to dare me by interfering in my interest? You know? The wise will always live by obeying warnings. The fool will always die by disobeying the warning. Go. I should go? Yes. Go back to your kingdom. Um, your majesty, what are you going to do about what he just told you? What the man will do is buried deep inside his heart. Don't ever forget that. And always remember that the fear of Ezegama is the very beginning of wisdom. <laughs> Igwe, 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 Igwe,
Ivan Kubata. Go to Eze, Shidubem, and warn him your way. Tell him that I, Eze Gamma of Umugama Kingdom, wants him to desist from his intentions towards the gold of our nature. Tell him that I am very specific. That if he continues making moves towards the god of Anyosha, I will make him disappear without a trace. Your Majesty, your wish is my command. <laughs> What does that mean, Your Majesty? Are you going to murder Eze Chukudube if he goes against your warnings? Uh. Did you listen to yourself when you were speaking? Uh, uh, apologies, my king. Mind your utterances, please, and don't provoke me. Hmm. Uh, uh, I should be on my way. Don't try this nonsense next time. Get out. Your Majesty. <laughs> What else is it? What else is not father? It has everything to do with father. If father wasn't involved in fetish and evil practices, Adani and I would be long married before now. If, in fact, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But, you need to calm down. Relax. I cannot calm down. I'm on the verge of losing Adani to another man and you ask me to calm down? Come to think of it, Elkusigo is successful. Every maiden would do anything to have such a man for a husband. He commands respect. Ochinamata, whatever this man from Omodora is, it does not change anything. He does not even have an edge over you. I am sure Adani would come back to you. Someday she is going to accept your property. Ochina Wata! But if this man is as big and mighty, just like the way my brother says, why then hasn't Adani accepted his proposal? That is the message from Ezegan. Get your mind off the gold, or you will meet your early grave, Ezechukudubim. You will disappear into thin air without a trace. And let me remind you, King, he means every word of it. I heard you. I heard you loud and clear, great warrior from Momogama. Tell Ezegama that I'm no longer interested in the gold of Anyocha. He can take it all, all of it. Mm -hmm. Tell him I said so. Your Majesty, did you just say that you no longer have interest in the gold of Anyocha? Do I have water in my mouth when I say it to your former? That I'm no more interested? Or are you trying to mock me? No. Do you want me to disappear without a trace, just as they threatened? It's your former. No, but I will apologize. Ha! God of my ancestors. I thank you that they did not even come to kill me. Eh? 
It is my greed that would have killed me. Good. Good. How dare you? Oshinawata, how dare you? Ezekam, I am not afraid of you. I'll tell you the truth. It is all your fault. What? What kind of a king are you? What kind of a father are you? As it is, I am on the verge of losing the only thing that matters to me. My love. Because of you. Because of your fetish lifestyle and obsession with charms. I am tolerating you just because of one reason. And that is because you are my son. And you are the one that will take over from me. But I must have to warn you. Be very careful with your utterances once you stand before me. I am a man of many sides. Sincerely, Father, I don't care. I am not intimidated by your stare. Let me warn you. If I lose Adani because of you, I will never forgive you. Watch out for a man to get no word and lose his soul. Oshinawata! Mwamba Kali go come up with one to get no word and lose his soul. Waka. I have come to thank you one more time for the role you are playing in my life. There is nothing I have ever asked you to do that you didn't do. And each time you ask me to do anything and I obey, I always see the result. One more time I have come to submit under your authority. I will worship you forever. We shall always be there for you, Ezekama. I have come to make a complaint. The prince. The prince is beginning to get on my nerves. If not that he is my son, I would have killed him long time. Do not harm him, for he is you, Ezekama. He is me. How? He has made it clear to me that he is not ready to throw my path. In fact, he is not interested in the things I do. And that has been the reason for our constant arguments. He will take over from you when you are gone. But Speak no further on that. For you can easily be deceived. <clears throat> Please, can we change this topic? Yes. No, we can't. Not until you understand me and agree to marry Okusigo. Please, Obiamaka. <clears throat> Adani. Adani. You don't know what you're missing. Or rather, you don't know what you're about to lose. I wish I was the one that Okusigo asked for her hand in marriage. Obiamaka. Yes, mm. I envy you, my friend. Are you trying to say the prince is not handsome enough or what are you saying? The prince is handsome, but that has nothing to do with this. He is a fetish king in the making. Yes, mm. I speak the truth. While Ekusigo is a businessman who has learned how to make money, and I learned he has made lots of it. Whereas the prince is just hoping to become the king someday, after his father. I, are you aware we are on the road, please? Ma, I, I don't, I'm telling you the truth now. Hey, the chip the baby. Hey, the are you telling me you are no longer interested in the gold? 
Yes, you had me right. You and I agreed it all belongs to Eze Gamma. Really? Really? You should not have reported me to him. It's not fair. You should have told me you don't want to give me the gold. Eze Chukud be Are you the one saying this? Yes, I am. <laughs> and like I said, my no. hands and interests are out. I shall take my leave. How do you? Let it be as we discussed. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I thought you're not afraid of easy gamble. No! Come! Come and tell you good! I do not have any reason. I will get married when the right man comes. That's not true. Father, you don't believe me. Negalo, you are not just a princess. You are the daughter of Eze Gama of Umbogama Kingdom. Most men, if not all the men, desire to have you as their wife. Why are you finally standing before me, telling me that you have not seen any of them that you are liking already? Father, when I see the right man, I would know him. I am not sure I got what that means. <laughs> 